Hey, what's up, everybody? Maybe you guys do know, maybe you guys don't know just yet, but here's the latest news that it just hit, well, hit Eastern Time since we all were sleeping. Around 2.46 p.m. Japan time, which is locally is about 10 hours difference from here in the U.S., which it was mostly um, 12.46 a.m. in <clears throat> over here, a devastated earthquake by a magnitude of 8.9 hit about approximately, um, let me check this, 230 miles away from Tokyo, Japan, as we all know it, um, which triggered a massive devastated tsunami, which I can't really, don't know how much it was. Uh, some people say it was 23 feet. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not making numbers. I'm just hearing what people are saying, and and the thing about it is that a lot. Um, the thing about it is that the reason why a lot of people are like, how come the buildings were not falling like other earthquakes happens in other countries? It because Japan is constantly like California getting hit by earthquakes, and they got used to it, and they built um buildings that support earthquakes, but not. This kind of tsunamis that, as you all know, as you all seen, it took boats like it was toys, destroy houses, and unfortunately, I have to say, my condolence goes to any Japanese family that lost a loved one. A lot of people has right now died. Most people are saying are in the hundreds. Um, there are people missing. They're saying in a boat that that were a hundred in, in that boat, and apparently is missing. So they're finding them. And due to this situation, um, I got shocked when I saw this. That's an actual whirlpool. Yes, guys, a whirlpool happened, and it triggered that. In in I think it was in the ocean. That's actual footage from a news in Japan, as we see it. And, of course, it was Sundai. I think I said it right, Sundai, Japan. You see all the flooding, all the water. That's all, as you see right now, that's all flooding. That's all devastation. That's all dirt, everything you call it. And as we know, there's a bridge right there, and all the water just went boom. Thousands, hundreds of people, maybe thousands, were going up to the roof right now as we speak and um, trying to get rescue. Um, right now, I heard in Japan they felt it too, but as we all know, it wasn't that magnitude to actually hit it that much. So far as we know it, um, there have been um, many aftershocks from from 0 0.5 to about. 7.1 aftershock earthquakes, as we all know, it has been multiplied uh, maybe 30 times this whole time over there. So, it, hopefully, over there it doesn't go more devastated. But they're saying that as this is continuing, it could probably cause another tsunami, not a big one, maybe a small one, but just be prepared, guys, just in case over there. So, I hope everything goes all right over there. And, um, if anything, um, if anything, like I said to you guys, hold on, let me take this out. All right. If anything, if you want to help out so far, I don't know where to contact at the moment, but if, just check in the description box down below for any information. If you want to help out, maybe in the Red Cross right now at the moment, if you want to help out over there, the people in Japan, um, donate over there. When, if, if anything happens, just check in the description box if I'll leave any information. Or update. I will update this whole thing, this whole video. I'll update it to say you want to give your um, donations, you know, help out the people in Japan. Description down below, and I'm out. And hopefully, hopefully, you know, at least we can find some survivors in this devastation. We're out, and you know how it is.